it is another day, another good day here at Level M Diecast. I'm going to be doing a unboxing for you guys. A super, super cool unboxing. This is my first real working rigs unboxing. Very, very exciting. Uh, batch B, which is the K case for 2021. Uh, I just picked it up today at Walmart. So we're going to roll through. This is So this is number one. So there's 16 models this year. This was from the A case. Uh, so it was a brand new model this year. The uh, Durastar uh, box truck. Uh, number two this year was the GMC attenuator truck. Um, this was a new model last year. I think it looks really good in yellow. It's too bad we can't get any accessories in it. Uh, number three is the scraper um, unfortunately this is a reissued livery although there are a number of differences on this one versus the original release that came out many 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 years ago um, so it's definitely worth still picking that up if you still find it on the pegs and then number four from the a batch was the crane and this is also a reused livery however uh, the orange is a much different shade of orange from the original release, um, and it's it's noticeably different. So, if you're uh, one of those nuts like I am, um, definitely pick that up. Definitely pick that up. Now, we're gonna move on to number five. So this is the B case. This is where we start with the B case. This is the scraper in the Rannick livery to go with our crane. Uh, Rannick is by far a better livery than the ink construction ever thought could be. Um, I wish that they would just absolutely roll with this unlimitedly, but, um, you know, they're kind of, they're kind of slow, but, uh, good things don't come in droves. So we're going to crack that open. Uh, number six, uh, this is the Durastar flatbed tow truck. Um, uh, yes, we got this again unbelievable um you know this is the fourth version we've got since real working rigs came back when there's a whole slew of models that we've only ever gotten one of or two of um you know it's just it's it's unfortunate i understand that this is popular i understand like people like tow trucks and stuff but man i can't believe this is the fourth version we've got of this one since the return of real working rigs uh, number seven, um, I believe this is also the fourth version we've gotten of this one. This one's a little bit more understandable just because it's a fire truck. So I don't know, man. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love this real working rig. It's fantastic. Uh, the best part about this is them putting print back on the ladder. Um, you know, previous versions have not had the ladder, which has been unfortunate. Um, but it's there. And we're going to be happy with it. Uh, and then we're going to roll out or finish up number eight. Um, this is the Cement King. It's just the retooled cab. Um, I like the idea of the King series. I, I like the continuity between the tractors and continuity between a, basically a truck brand that Matchbox has established. I think that's pretty cool. Um Obviously, this being retooled and not being a Mercedes anymore, it's cheaper for them to produce it because they don't have to put a, a brand on it. They don't have to license it. So if that's what it takes to get the real working rigs, then so be it. We're all good. Okay. So let's reset a little bit. Sorry, guys. We're going to reset just a little bit. I do these unboxings, man. You guys know this is real time. I don't, I don't sugarcoat this stuff. Okay. All right, we're gonna crack open the first one, which is the road scraper. We're gonna turn on our little handy dandy rotator guy, and we're gonna let that roll around. You know, I was a little disappointed when the scraper first debuted. 
because I really expected a little bit more functionality. I really expected the the uh, body to uh, tilt and, and balance and all that kind of cool stuff like that. But uh, unfortunately, it doesn't. So, you know, you have obviously the steering function here in the front and then the uh, bed uh, capacitor or whatever they call those. Um, as it as it fills up and then when they dump it, it, it moves kind of like a garbage truck. This is a good model. I really like it. I absolutely love that it's in the Rannick livery. Um, obviously, it's a generic, but that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. It just it looks really, really good. It really looks really, really good. And I'll be honest with you. I think I'm going to have to do a comparison video between Ink Deco and Rannick Deco because... This model debuted in the Ink Deco, and now it's recolored in the Rannick Deco. So I think that might be pretty cool. That's a pretty cool idea for a video. So, and then, in case you guys are curious, any base information you might want to look at, base codes, whatnot, uh, or any detail or whatever. Um, it's a good model. It's a good model. I'll set that to the side. All right, we're going to go with number six, uh, Boo, tow truck. Ah, oh, man. I love the tow truck. Don't get me wrong. I love this Durastar tow truck. The problem is I just really wish that they would separate or, or spread some love to this, some other real working rigs. Now, I'm not saying to make some of the generic stuff, but, you know, like the vacuum truck, for instance, the Freightliner vacuum truck. We only got that once. Uh, what else we got in here? You know, the combine harvester, the uh, the case combine harvester. That'd be awesome. Um, we know it'd be even better. Here, riddle me this. I want somebody on who's watching this video, I want somebody to chime in and tell me what happened with the Kenworth, with the roll-off dumper on the back, with the roll-off dumpster on the back. That was teased by the Matchbox team like two years ago. And that model never came. That roll-off never, ever came. So what happened with that? I want to know what's happened with that. If somebody knows, let me know. Um, and then also, you know, the the Scania tactical unit that debuted uh, a year or two ago. I know it was in the Thank You Hero set, so it got reused. But, you know, we could use it again. Um, uh, the GMC airport truck that... that Oh, man, I'll have to walk through these, man. I'm just going crazy with these stuff. We're getting off topic. Anyways, um, this is in a Newfield, New Jersey towing and service. I, I don't know if this is licensed. I'm pretty sure it's not licensed. And one of the reasons why is because it says right there, this is Matchbox Museum Dispatched. There's your deco on the side. I love the fact that they brought the chrome built grill back because, you know, a couple of the previous versions did not have chrome grill. There's your base information. Now, obviously, being that it's a tow truck, whoop, sorry guys, it's a little stiff. So the bar comes back for towing a car at the back. And then of course your standard um, actual tow truck version rolls through. And I just happen to have a car sitting here. And uh, no, don't you guys worry, it's not the Stealth. There you go. Throw the S2K up there. Uh, I haven't put that one away yet because I haven't photographed it for the catalog. Um, one day I'll walk through this, how I catalog all my Matchbox. You guys would be uh, relatively impressed, I think. All right, we're gonna pull that guy off. We're gonna put that over there by the other carded one. Sort of kind of off the screen. And then we're gonna move on to the Pierce. Man, this looks good. This looks real, real good. I love it in this black and gold deco so i'm looking at the card art and uh 
let that roll around a little bit. I'll pull it up. Um, something interesting that I see here, uh, and I have my own little idea. So this is Snake Bend. Now I don't know if that's Snake Bend, Oregon, or not. Um, could be. There's all your fantastic detail. Uh, I don't believe this model's ever had rear tampo print, but it looks really, really, really good. Man, look at that. Man, the gold and the black are just fantastic. And then, of course, you have your platform that goes up. Obviously, the platform rotates around. Um, and then this is a two-stage ladder. So, separate piece. And then, of course, the self-leveling cab, so to speak, or carrier, however you want to call it. Um, but this is assembled just like every other ladder truck. They just slide in together. Um, goes way off the camera. Way off the camera. Now, what I was mentioning about the card art just one second ago. So you see all the deco on here? So check this out. I just noticed on the card art, there's no detail on the actual fire truck. Now I'm wondering if maybe the licensing wasn't quite set yet when the card art needed to be produced. Um, but I, I work at a place that we do blistered items just like these are. Um, the cards are always the first thing. You always have to have the cards before the actual item. And I'm wondering if they were like, okay, we know for a fact it's going to be gold and black, but we're still working on the deco and they figured maybe worst case scenario that would just change the name up or something. Um, but I think that that's interesting. Let me know what you guys think about that. I thought that was kind of cool because if we look back at the other ones, this one's done up in all the deco, all the livery and whatnot. And then of course, of course the scraper is because that's Matchbox's own deco design. Um, so that, that was kind of interesting. And even, even when we get on to the next model, that one's all done up too. Interesting, huh? Let me know what you guys think about that. Let me know what your, what your thoughts are about that. But um, I, love, I love the Pierce. I, I love this. The last couple of versions we've got, there's been no tampo print on that boom or the uh, carrier bucket. And it's really, really made a difference. It's really made a difference. Um, this is, this is full-blown you know, real working rigs back to where they need to be um, and, and just being cool. All right, we're going to go on to the last one, Cement King. I'm sorry, this is the Cement King HD. It's not 4K. Maybe 1080p, but not 4K. So obviously this one has the rotating drum and then it's got a little spout part at the bottom or back that moves around. I mean, it's a cement truck. There's not a really a whole lot of detail to put into it. Um, I like this deco. This deco actually looks pretty good. Uh, not the chrome foil wheels, but uh, just standard chrome would have looked better. Uh, would have looked a lot more believable. But again, these are... Me, you know manufacturers kids toys and those chrome chrome blue chrome wheels are definitely going to be eye popping and eye catching for any kid looking at it so real working rig cement company that's pretty cool um m831 931 i don't think that that's uh most of these uh real working rigs will have their Real working rig number at the bottom. This is a uh, retooled one, so this one might not. Um, the later versions definitely did. Um, we'll have to get one here. You know what? I bet you the scraper has it. I bet you the scraper has the. There you go. Real working rig number 46. So, and of course, the other number up there, that GBK03, that's the assortment number. Um, it's original assortment batch number. Um, I'm not really sure why they have that. Um, these are not that batch assortment. So 
like this Pierce. Oh, there we go. Real working rig number 15. So this was before they were putting the assortment batch on there, uh, being that this cement truck was retooled. Um, this one also has the batch number FWD 52. So, ah, uh, dang it. I was hoping that I had the original one uh, that I could go grab real quick and show you um, just to compare it. But um, we'll get back to this deco. So uh, MB31, M831, MB31, World Working Rig. I don't believe there's a interior in this, but there it is a it is translucent window. Uh, it's just a really it's a really good model. Um, I I don't have like I said I don't have any issues with the fact that they made this a generic. I think it's perfectly fine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's it's perfect in its function. You can sit here and spin this thing for a million years if you wanted to. It's pretty cool though. I see that on a. Backwards on both sides. Oh, there we go. There we go. Some finer details in there. Probably to indicate like uh, how full it is. It's cool. It's cool. Um, and then just real quick, I don't know if I showed this one up close. Caution stand minimum uh, 28 feet. Unit number eight. They missed... They missed the mark on this one because this is number six of 16. They could have just said this is unit number six. That would have been cool. That would have been perfect. And then USA A58, Aldar 58. If you don't know who Aldar 58 is, you're not a Matchbox collector, period. I will not I will not explain that to you. Fire extinguisher in car. What does that say? Oh, in cab. <laughs> oh, that would have been hilarious. That would have been hilarious. But yeah, pretty good, huh? Sweet, huh? Hope you guys like the uh, up close pictures and the and the and the details. Uh, if you guys don't like this, let me know. I'll definitely not do that anymore. But sometimes people like to see the details and just how much deco is up there. I always like that they deco the back of this up. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Unit number fifteen. Of course, fire extinguisher inside, like they all have. Um, and then. Um, unfortunately, um, all the previous versions always had the international logo in the grill. Um, this one does not, um, which is unfortunate, but, um, but it's, you know, perfectly functional. I love it. All right. I'm going to see how many of these I can cram on here. There we go. There's the, the quadfecta. All right. There you guys go. That's unboxing. Matchbox Real Working Rigs, Batch B, 2021. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't. Let me know if you want more Real Working Rigs videos. I literally have every single Real Working Rig ever made. So if there's anything you guys want to see, a model you want covered, drop a comment, hit subscribe, do me a favor, and uh, I'm going to roll on, and I'll see you guys back here at Level M Diecast. Later.